Hey y'all, come on in, come on in, come on in. Have a sit down, we gotta have a chit chat, okay? All right, collective, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on it. Right now we're gonna tap into the energies of divine masculine for the year 2023. Yes, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap in and see what spiritual messages that is going to come through for Divine Masculine regarding the upcoming year 2023. Now, this is a general reading, so it could be about love, money, career, kids, whatever the sort, okay? So, we're just going to hop right on into it and see what Spirit has to say. My babies, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? If you hear bells and whistles go off throughout this video... That is confirmation of what I'm saying or just said, okay? All right, let's rock. I am going to get a theme for the year 2023 for Divine Masculine right now. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I picked up the deck and it said cut the cords at the bottom of the deck. Honey, boom, you got some cord cutting to do, Divine Masculine. Hey, if you do, that's beautiful because that means that ain't supposed to come with you in the year 2023, okay? But let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the theme for the year 2023 for my Divine Masculines? What is the theme for the year 2023 for my Divine Masculines? Please and thank you. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the theme? Okay, please and thank you. Can you kick it out? <laughs> oh, we have ease and grace. Oh, so that, that means that next year is going to be a little bit easier, a little bit more graceful next year. That means also, too, you be more grateful for what you have in the coming year than what you've been this year, Divine Masculine. I'm just saying. Bottom of the deck, we have do the work. You better be grateful and do the work. <laughs> okay? So there's something that you have to accomplish in the upcoming year. Something that you need to get started on. It's making me feel like um, work on that heart space. That heart chakra is looking mighty lit T right here. Do the work on that heart chakra here. Mm, ease and grace. This is... Um, I'm hearing appreciation. Yeah. Do the work in honesty and communication. You know what? I say it to myself. That there is something that masculine has to say because this heart chakra looks mighty close to the throat chakra. So it could be something speaking your truth, speaking from the heart. I'm just saying. I was thinking that, but I didn't say it. I should have said it though. But I'm saying it now. Okay. But yes, do the work. Do what you know you need to do in order to improve and better yourself or your situation, or your job, your career, your house, your home, your kids, something of the sort that you're going to have to get to work on because it's, um, you haven't did it yet. Okay. This, this do the work is like, do it, come on. It's like now. Do the work now, okay? So I'm going to use divine masculines need to go to work next year. Get back in that workforce. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? But it's something that you needed to work on that you didn't. Okay, but I tell you this, it'll be easier. Okay, so it could have been some type of um, obstacle or blockage that was keeping you from starting the work or doing the work or finishing the work. But next year, it's going to be an easier time for you to get that work done. Okay, all right. Holy Spirit, what is the leading energies for Divine Masculine for the upcoming year 2023? What are the leading energies for Divine Masculine? That is way too many. You got a lot of work to do. I'm just saying. That's for some of you guys. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. Okay. Thank you. I'll take that one. Let's see. Can we get two more? Or however many more. I always look. They always give me more than what I asked for. So let's let's go. What other message? <laughs> uh, that's way too many now. I'm not doing all that. The reason why, you know what? They jumpy. Can you kick it out, though? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have justice, Libra energy, and let's say balance. 
Yes. Now, in this deck, this justice energy, it gives me magician energy because you have all four elements at the bottom of this. So, I uh, heard four corners of the wind. Do the work. Do the work within yourself. Work on your heart space. Work on your mental. Work in, on your environment and work on your emotional. Well, heart space is emotional at times, you know, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things are coming into balance for you, okay? Um, for some of my masculine, it could be a court case that or a court decision that is going to come in next year, and it's going to bring balance to yourself, or it'll come out and work out in your favor here with this ease and um, uh, grace. So if you have a court case that is coming around next year or that is finishing up next year, It'll work out in your favor if you do the work. So it could be something that you have to work on or something that you have to do in order for this court case, lawsuit, whatever to sort, work out in your favor, okay? That's for some of you guys. Let's see what we have here. Patience and planning, yep. Do the work, okay? Be be very meticulous here. But the, do the work and patience and planning, yeah, be very meticulous here as to what it is that you're creating, what it is that you're trying to bring into fruition what you're manifesting here because you're going to have to dot your i's and cross your t's okay so be meticulous in the work that you have to do be patient with yourself as you're doing the work okay and have a plan okay he that fails to plan plan to fail see what i'm saying this is that do the work energy okay all right here we have mental conflict okay and then we have spiritual strength here i like that yes so it's something that you was confused about here that you weren't getting all of the answers this could be an old way of thinking about things is what i'm getting do the work mental conflict yes so some of you divine masculines might need to have some type of mental health help here if you have mental issues or mental health issues do the work in order, in order for you to heal and process and become better from your mental capabilities here, your mindsets, it's making me feel like old ways of thinking you're going to have to do the work in in order for you to transform what it is that you're going through or what it is that you're trying to bring in here. That's a blockage here. It's a mental blockage here. But this conflict, this is double-minded here. you damn right. That's why that balance is here. You're double-minded about something, but you're being very spiritually strong or you're going to, be, going to be gifted spiritual strength here in order for you to deal with your mental conflict. It's really heavy on the mental health divine masculine. You're going to have to do the work that it's going to take for you to get your mental health up to par, back to order, back and balanced here, okay? Suffering and silence is under this. Yes, this in new beginnings. Yes, yes, divine masculine. There is mental help out there for you. Okay, this this spiritual strength is making me feel like for some of my masculines that you're going to draw from your spiritual strength in order to bring balance to your mental health. That's a good ass plan. Patience and planning. Come on. Can't make this up. Grace and ease. You see what I'm saying? The gift of grace. I heard you, Holy Spirit. Huh. Pull on your spiritual strengths here. Work your spiritual muscles here. You're going to have to do the work spiritually and mentally in order to bring balance and justice back into your life or back into yourself or back into a situation or back into a connection, something of the sort. You're going to have to work on self especially mentally and spiritually be patient with yourself have a plan okay things just not going to fall out the sky and just fix themselves. no 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 you're gonna have to do the work okay it's beautiful okay all right let's keep going what is supporting this leading energies for divine masculine look there go that heart chakra <laughs> I told you I picked up the deck and you're going to heart chakra. I told you you're going to have to do the work on that heart chakra. And it starts mentally, I mean spiritually, excuse me. It starts spiritually and it, is, it filters over into your mentally. When that heart right, baby, that mind get right. I'm just saying. It's a process. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> you're going to be gifted a, a, a way to, to, to um, achieve this here. But you got to be patient and plan. 
your exit route. Okay, your escape route. I heard that. Manifest. That heart chakra manifest when I split the deck. Come on, baby. <laughs> I told you trying to bring things into fruition, but you got to have that balance within your mental and your spiritual. Boom. I'm just saying. Get that balance, baby. There's a mental conflict about your spirituality here. So maybe it's something that you really not truly believe in. Maybe it's something that you really not truly involved in. Something of the sort. But it's the way you're thinking that is blocking your spiritual strength and your spiritual growth. You need to grow in spirit so they can change that mental. So you might need to start believing in such a thing. I'm just saying. That's for some of you guys, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me? What is supporting these leading energies? How about that? What is supporting these leading energies? You will have spiritual help mm -hmm. and guidance. Uh huh. That's that grace right here. Uh huh. I heard you, Spirit. Mm hmm. Justice is on your side. I heard you, Spirit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. I see Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah. Something that you planted, something that you've been working on. You've been working on this divine asset. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Do the work. <laughs> you, you, some of your masculines have been working on this. Okay, but you got to be patient with yourself. Trust the process here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, Holy Spirit. What is supporting these leading energies, please and thank you? How about I say, can you kick it out? <laughs> We're going to take two. Look, these are stuck. Bottom of the deck, we have Hermit Energy Seek. Go inside yourself to find yourself, baby. Especially being mentally conflicted about something. <clears throat> That is hindering your spiritual growth or your spiritual strength, growth strength, same thing, okay? All right. Believe and succeed. Yeah, believe in yourself and you will have success. That's that mental blockage here. Okay. Damn it, take the lead. Here you go, Divine Masculine. This is the Emperor Energy, Aries Energy here. There you go, honey boom. Okay, that's that spiritual strength here. You are becoming a better person because you're going through the process of this mental confliction that you have about your spirituality you damn right you stepping up and you showing out do the work continue to do the work be patient with the work that you have done here uh-huh yeah it will all come into fruition here yes it will yes it will be patient with yourself as well here we have joy and stability sitting right next to the masculine here go ahead with yourself you already know that it is possible uh-huh believing you will succeed Damn it. Here we have the judgment energy. Now we have justice and judgment out here. This is karmatic here. <laughs> Bells and whistles don't lie. This is karmatic here. This is car. This is, and, and let me tell you something. This is balancing out the karma that either you created, that has got you in this mental conflict, that is blocking your spiritual growth and strength here. Because this, now it's starting to feel guilty here. Maybe it's something that you feel guilty about in the past that you're trying to balance that energy out. But it's a mental conflict about that. In the upcoming year, you will have grace with that. Grace is a gift, baby. To ease your mind, you have grace and ease. This is easing the mental conflict. This is the grace of the spiritual growth and strength that you are going to come into Divine Masculine. The rest and reconsider is here. Oh. Honey boom. Go ahead with yourself, divine masculine. Baby. Trust the process. And this is what you're doing. But I'm telling you, it's like with this. <laughs> what I'm telling you is with this masculine energy and this mental conflict, this is is heavy. This is heavy. This is, this is making me feel like the way that you looked at yourself. This year was heavy on you because it's, it's, it's starting to make me feel like this year, it, 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 you was working out an ego. And there's an ego death here. Yeah. Yeah. Next year is going to bring you ease to that conflict of self. Yep, stepping out of the shadows of self. Look it. I'm going to show you what I see. Mental conflict. Old mindsets. This one is older than this one. And then stepping out of the shadows of self. This is how you're thinking about yourself here. That's going to change here. 
The Divine Feminine has something similar to this, but um, yours is a bit more intense. It's a bit, a bit more spiritual here because that spirituality or the process of growing in spirit and truth is blocked by the way you think. Divine Feminine got, is going through this too. And it look, and check out my Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine reading, okay? Because that is a union because they went through this mental healing separately and it's showing up here again in your individual reading and in divine feminist individual re reading there is a lot of union that is going to happen in 2023 this group right here you're a part of that union either this is with your person or within yourself balancing out your divine feminine and masculine energies within yourself this is why balance and justice is here because what you were suffering in silence. Why? Because you was mentally conflicted. Why? Because your spirituality strength is broke. It's blocked. It was blocked. Your spiritual growth and strength was blocked by the way you think. Okay. Next year, it's going to come with grace and ease, baby. Just hold on. Trust the process. Patience and planning. Trust the process. Honey bone. Okay. Let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Look, and then I picked up the deck and there go judgment again, baby. Honey bone. <laughs> You're waking up. This is a aha, I get it now. I see now. I hear you now. This is a wake up call. A lot of my divine masculines is waking up to the truth of spirit. Okay? You could be on your spiritual journey. Woke that third eye. Honey boo. Go ahead with yourself, masculine. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, holy angels. And look, this earring again. It's happening in divine feminine reading. Y'all mirroring. Yep, you you are mirroring your 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 feminine divine masculine. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? What is coming in for a divine masculine in the year 2023? Mm. We have seven of wands. Stand your ground. Being very defensive here. Okay. This is your first energies out, but this is you not taking, this is you not putting up a bullshit. Straight up. Okay, you're very defensive and you're standing your ground, you stand on your beliefs, you stand on what it is that you that you um stand on what you stand for, shit. This is this is this is making me feel like there's nothing that could change your mind about how the way you think except what you know. I hope I got that out right because that's that's what's here. So let's see. Let's keep going. Yeah. Um, this is also too stubborn. So you could be a little, yeah, you could be a little stubborn about the things that you have to change about yourself here. Yeah. Okay. That's why I said trust the process. It's making me feel like divine masculine, you're stuck in your ways. And this is causing mental conflict that is stunting your spiritual growth because you're stuck in your ways here. Trust the process. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Ten of Wands. It's a lot of burdens here that you're carrying. But that is going to wrap up in the coming year. You're going to put these burdens down. Because you're going to realize that you're stopping yourself from growing mentally and spiritually. Here. Okay? It's like you're going to get out of your own way. And let the universe do what it do for you. Okay? You are going to trust the process here. Okay? Because there's too many, there's just too many things that's just weighing you down. This is a heavy energy here. And you're trying to make it work, trying to carry it all. A lot of burdens and res responsibilities here. Especially mentally. You're thinking about all the shit that you got to carry. All the things that you got to do. And it's just weighing on you. Why? Because you're not trusting the process. That's what happened this year. Next year, that's a whole different story, baby. 
Uh-huh. That's a whole different story. Let's keep going. What else can you tell me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, that's a whole different story. Look at this, two wands. Changing direction here. You damn right. Uh-huh, that path is good up for you now. You're changing in your, the change in your direction here. You're damn right with the will of fortune. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now things are moving forward because you changed the direction of your mental capabilities or mental process here or your mental uh, 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 conflict here. Okay? Changing the thinking. This is the same as divine feeling. Changing your thinking will change your destiny. You got to change how you think. I mean, this big-ass mental conflict sitting next to the spiritual strength is just screaming. Change the way you think. Trust the process. Now is the time with this will of fortune. This is divine timing. Now is the time. This year is the year for you to change in order for you to have not only spiritual prosperity, but mental growth and health as well. Things were looking up. Hell yeah. You got justice in and judgment here. You damn right with Will of Fortune. Now's the time. I heard that karma, that karmatic debt is done. Once you change the way you think about yourself and think about the 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 the, 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 the change your thinking. And how you think about yourself and how you think about other people and how you think about situations. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep going. Here we have the moon. Pisces energy. Things are being hidden. So there's still some undiscovered healing that needs to be had here. The Knight of Cups here. Okay, there's hidden emotions here as well. Hidden emotions that need to be healed. I, 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 <laughs> Bells and whistles don't lie. When I seen this moon next to this little fortune here, this is hitting emotions, baby. Now is the time to move forward. You're going to be guided. If you're not already, you're going to be guided to come out of this mental conflict because of your spiritual, uh, emotional state. Okay. Things are click clacking in the background that you don't know nothing about that is guiding you to this mental and spiritual relief. This is why they say trust the process. Things are click clacking in the background for you, Divine Masculine. Things that you don't know about that is click clacking in your favor in order for you to move forward because now's the time. You don't know nothing about this, what's happening in the background. I heard it ain't none of your business. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it ain't none of your business. <laughs> I, I know exactly who said that. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's not. Because there's nothing that you can do about it anyway. This is the universe doing this for you. Okay? So whether you know or not, but you don't need to know. Okay? If you know, you probably fuck it up. Okay? Trying to bring it in faster. Change this to change that. Uh, not go through this, not understand that, not learn this, not learn that. You know what I mean? So if you know about it, then you're going you gonna to try to do something about it and then fuck it up. That's why they say, you don't need to know. <laughs> Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else can you tell me? <laughs> oh, here we have the King of Wands here. And then we have Justice at the bottom of the deck. Go ahead with yourself. Mm-hmm. King of Wands, that's fire, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, ooh. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I meant to say Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Okay, so some of you could be Cancer. That, uh, yeah. Some of you guys could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay? Aries is very, very strong. And it's a lot of fire energy here, especially with this, um, this justice right here. Uh-huh. It's a lot of fire energy. You're ready to go. Yep, you're ready to go. You're ready, you ready to learn. You're ready to heal. You're ready to wrap this up. This is why I said trust the process. See, now you're in a hurry. And I told you, 
I told you this is why you didn't need to know because now you want to do something about it. Okay? Being all gung-ho and shit. No, no, no. Sit your ass down somewhere and trust the process. Okay? Let's get one more. Oh, yeah. King of Swords. Yeah, two kings out here. I kind of like that. Because you have... Look, these are you embodying these two energies. Anytime I get the, the, the emperor come out in the spread, any other king up under that emperor, this is the energy that you're embodying. Okay, so you're mastering your thoughts, mental conflict, making right decisions, very intelligent energy, and you're mastering your, your desires, your actions, your want-tos in life. You see what I'm saying? Spiritual strength. Honeybone. Showing up like a boss. And then we have temperance at the bottom of the deck with the lovers. Yeah, being very patient with yourself and the decisions that you make regarding love. Boo yeah. Because you was in, yeah, you was in a mental conflict about that. Okay? This is the work that you're doing on yourself. Beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Uh -huh. I heard soon. When is soon? Divine time. Okay. Peace of mind is here with this temperance energy. Sagittarius is now strongly showing up. This could happen in Sagittarius season. But with the temperance energy, this is a peace of mind, peace in your spirit, peace in your emotions here. This is the ebb and flow with the universe here. And this is a very calming, tranquil energy. This is what you're doing to work in order to get to this place. This is the whole reason why you're doing the work. Because you want this temperance energy. This temperance energy is here for the taking and you will do the work in order to get it. This is the grace and the gift that is coming to you in 2023. Okay? All right, Divine Masculine. This is what I have for you. This is very, very beautiful. But trust the process, baby. And it too will be yours. Okay? So, this is all I have for you. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.